Hey, Alan Batista of the Light Tackle Kayak Fishing Series, and I want to answer the question I hear come up all the time. Is side imaging worth it? So I've got some props here, got my solo skiff up there, I've got a fish. I'm going to do a little demonstration on 2D sonar versus 3D sonar, or you could call it side imaging. So if you're looking for your standard 2D sonar, it shoots in basically a cone like this, all right? So I've got my solo skiff elevated seven feet off the ground, maybe close to seven and a half, but for intents and purposes, it is what it is. Imagine that this garage is filled with water and it's floating up there, okay? So the transducer, the transducer is shooting its cone. Now this is basically a standard cone angle. Some are a little bit wider, some are a little bit more narrow, depending on how much uh, resolution you want. Higher frequencies generally shoot a little narrower. Wider frequency shooter shoot a little more uh, wide. But for the sake of the argument here, this is the transducer cone. You can see I put some twine here so you can see the coverage that you would get. This, I've run a calculation, this is the coverage area you get in about seven foot of water, this cone right here. So that's all you see, okay? So here's a fish, I'm gonna call this a 25 inch fish, right? Imagine swimming through. There's not many of these that you can see on your 2D sonar. Um, I don't know how dumb the fish needs to be if you were right above it, that it would just tend to spook or move out of the way, which is a common thing I hear people say a lot. Alan, I'm not marking any fish. Well, guess what? In shallow water, you're probably not, unless there's hordes and hordes and hordes of them, and any blind man can catch a fish in that situation. So, I've illustrated the coverage of 2D sonar. Let me take this a step further. We're gonna go 3D sonar. Let me grab my prop. I'm going to put down my fish and we're going to take a walk. So 2D sonar works a little differently than 3D sonar. 3D sonar, basically imagine that you are cutting uh, a loaf of bread into slices and that's how 3D sonar works. It takes slices and slices and slices and stitches those together to create basically a uh, a 3D, very picture-like image. You can see, even in the shallow water, I can see in two and three feet of water, out 100 to 150 feet to either side, okay? So, why did I take this little walk across this field? Well, guess what? This field is about 100 to 150 feet per side. So, while we were having this little discussion, we just basically could have mapped this entire field. We would see every feature, we'd see every fish, we'd see everything out here versus that disc. So, <laughs> would you rather see this whole field or would you rather see that disc? Now you can answer your own question. Is side imaging worth it?